I got the ultimate of CB radio antennas. This is a SolarCon Antron 99. I think back in the day when I used to do CB radio, Antron 99 was highly regarded as the best base station CB antenna you could get. And I don't remember it being called SolarCon back then, so I don't know if that company bought Antron or if they weren't they just weren't called that back then. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was always SolarCon, I just don't know about it. I'm not sure, but pick this up. I I got this off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description below, but today we're going to set up this antenna. I'm going to add it to the ham shack and we're going to do some CB radio listening and also testing with various radios over the course of the next, I don't know, month or so. And uh, I'm going to be proud to say that I have probably one of the best antennas that money can buy as far as CB radio goes. Comes just like that. And I think I heard, yep, bracket kit there. And there is a, uh, there is a ground plane kit you can add to it, but I guess it doesn't come with that. So let's set this up right now. All right, this is the whole thing. It's about 16, 17 feet long, something like that. So it's about the same size as my Comet GP9. This right here, just get a little bit closer up with that. This is where, there's a regular old SO239 on the base of this and certificate of compliance for 2023 right there. And then it's got this ring on the bottom right here that I don't know exactly what that's for. Oh, here it says right here, do not move the tuning rings Oops. Do not move the tuning rings. Read before installation. Well, I was going to put this thing on the tuner anyway. Cool. Okay. Look at the bottom of the antenna near the SO239 connector. The condensation drain hole must be open. Yes, there's a hole right next to the SO239. No problem there. Made in the USA. Nothing in the world wrong with that. So I just moved these tuning rings all around. I was thinking that there was a uh, ground plane kit that you could add to this later. But if so, I don't know where it would go in relation to these tuning rings. So we're going to set it up like this today. It's possible that at some point in time, I will add a ground plane to it. All right, so I read through the manual and I put the tuning rings back where basically where they were. Again, where I'm going to put the, uh, the Rig Expert Stick Pro on this to see where it tunes. But the manual does say that it is tuned for 27.205, basically in the middle of the CB radio band. They said no tuning is necessary if you're using the antenna for CB radio. There's a lock washer that goes in between the bottom and the middle section. And then there's a second lock washer that goes in between the top section and the middle section. And then that's the, uh, that's the top. So it's three sections long. You can see me right here. And then you can see <laughs> it up there. <laughs> so I am shorter than the first section here. So this first section is probably about six feet. So there's three sections, just sections of six feet, 18 foot tall. Lay that down carefully. The manual does list a ground plane that you can add to it later. It goes below the tuning rings. And it also lists a chart to be able to tune the antenna from like 28.016 all the way up to like 32 or 33 megahertz. It's rated at 2000 watts. So you could easily use this for 10 meters. And I'm curious to see how wide banded it is because it says it's tuned at 27 dot 205 right now and uh i wonder how far above 27 megahertz it'll go i wonder if it'll i wonder if it'll go to 20 28.074 which is the 10 meter ft8 frequency so i'm going to put this up i'm going to put it on a, a, a homemade mast i've got and then i'm going to put some coax on it and put the meter on it now i will say this real quick before we put this together this video is sponsored by mezzi and plomi coax which is the coax i'm going to use to put on this antenna you can save a 10 percent discount on all mezzi and plomi products at the link in the description below by using the coupon code of hr2 cables hr2 cables get you a 10 percent discount off of all mezzi and plomi coax mezzi and plomi is made in italy some of the best coax that i've ever used and it uh, works really well so i'm going to put some of their sahara 7 ultra flex on this antenna, you're gonna see that here in just a minute. And then we're gonna use it to do some, uh, some CB radio work. And also I'm gonna try it on 10 meters. I'm curious to see if it'll work on 10 meters. So stick around. I got my setup done here. And this is an antenna mast that I built right here out of piping, similar to the piping, well, same piping I have in my truck that I built my radio tree of, uh, out of the truck, so. I'm looking into the sun right now, but I've got arms. You can see I've got arms. I'll get closer up in a second. So it's about, 
I think that mast is about 14 feet tall. Maybe, no, probably more, probably more like 16 feet tall, something like that. So the base of the antenna is basically at 16 feet. If I add the ground plane kit to it, it'll be right at about 16 feet, if my calculations are correct. And then of course it's 16 feet or 18 feet on top of that. So I ran the Ultraflex 7 Sahara, which is this white coax right here. And I'm gonna have to get another one of these. I've, I haven't ever finished the groundwork on this. I wanna get a, a, a bigger box with a ground plate here that I can bolt this into rather than bolting it here to the ground rod outside, which is what this plate is for. If I bolt this on the outside, then these are exposed, which they are right now anyway. So I wanna get, I, I, it's, this is a project that I've never have finished. So I'm gonna get that all cleaned up, but I got 50 feet of the Sahara Ultraflex 7. And I probably should have gotten 25 feet, but that's okay. I will cut it into two pieces. But today, we're going to keep it the way it is. It is, if you can see that right there, 27.205 is where it says it was pre-tuned, and I'm at 1.19 to 1 SWR. That is freaking beautiful. That is just absolutely beautiful. So I put those tuning rings back. I haven't moved them since I put the antenna up, and I could climb up on top of the barn, on top of the ham shack, and put them up there if I wanted to. There's no need for that. That is great, okay? So if I go down a little bit, channel one is 26965 or somewhere in there, I think. Right around in there. So we're at 1.4 to one at channel one. That's not bad. And then channel 40, I know for a fact, is 27405. So we can go up here to channel 40 right there. And that's 1.11 to one. That's beautiful. So it's actually a little bit shorter than it could be because it is lower SWR at higher frequencies, which begs the question, what does it look like at 10 meters? Unfortunately, it's not wideband enough to go to 10 meters, at least not with some help because I put it up here at like 28065. That's pretty close to 28074. And it's like 2.2 to one. Now, most of your radios, including my IC7700 and my flex radio that's in the ham shack, will work just fine. We'll hit the tuner and that'll be just fine. So I might try some 10 meters on it just for the heck of it and see what kind of range and reception it gets and just how well it works on 10 meters. And again, there are instructions in the manual about how to tune it down to the 28 megahertz to like 20, 29, 30, 30 megahertz band, which uh, it's made for commercial. In fact, it says on the manual, it's made for commercial ham and CB. So now, now I need a CB radio. I've actually got three or four CB radios. I don't have any of them hooked up right now. I did buy, I want to show you guys this because this is the one that I want to hook up. This is a Motorola MoCat 40 channel CB radio. I got this on eBay just not too long ago. It didn't come with a power cable, so I had to order a power cable separately. I've never hooked it up, <laughs> but I'm hoping that it works. So this is, they had, there was three or four sellers that maybe five sellers that had these listed all about the same time. And this was the cleanest looking one out of all of them. So I think that this thing, once we hook it up and get everything on the air and whatnot, this thing is what's going to live in the ham shack. So I want to have readily available CB in the ham shack so that I can use it periodically, you know, and I've got, I've got a radiotity CB. I've got a, 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 a subscriber. One of you guys sent me a striker radio that I talked about in that video a while back. So I have a striker radio I'm going to try. Now I finally have an antenna up to try on my striker radio. I've got two or three other CBs, so going to be doing some CB radio stuff. Tell me what CB radio you would like to see me put on this channel, hooked to this system. And if you are in the North Texas area, do you want to do some CB work with me? Like, I'm in Grapevine. I know Don in 5SKT. He's over there in Richardson. I know, I know several other people. Frank doesn't have a CB, I know. But I don't know if anybody else has a CB around here. So do you guys want to do some CB work with me that I can record and put on the air? Because, I mean, why not? Let's do some CB work and see how far we can go. That might be fun. Thanks for watching, guys.